Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. Today when I was just going through my KCET 2022 question paper, I just found out that I had managed to solve around uh, 5 to 6 questions and had managed to get it correct too without even knowing the correct answer for it. I was also surprised to see this and I just thought of uploading a video in which I will share that trick to you so that you will be able to adopt the same techniques while you are solving your KCET 2023 paper. Yeah, I won't take much time in this video because even I know that you don't have much time to spend when there is very less time left and I am uh, strongly hope that you guys are preparing high, in a highly focused manner for the upcoming KCT 2023 exam guys. Yeah, before moving on to the video, some of the students who are currently uh, studying in top NITs and IITs of this nation have come up with a WhatsApp community called College Dost in which you will be getting each and every detail and each and every exclusive update regarding KCET exam and the same way they are planning of uh, sharing tips related to your counselling through the same platform too so that will be uh, definitely benefiting for all of you guys who are giving KCET 2023 exam so even you can join the community today itself by clicking the link which I have already given in the description guys yeah, with that note uh, let's start this video yeah this method which I used uh, is broadly called as elimination but even you may have come across this word elimination trick but still having a deep understanding of it becomes really important because uh, when you fall to a trap called uh, tricks therein you there will be a chance that you may lose a lot of marks too so understanding how to eliminate becomes really important i'll be telling you how to do it so listen to me carefully so this uh, the thing which is uh, getting projected on your screen is the first page of my uh, question paper uh, wherein let us go through the fifth question yes guys go through the fifth question there uh, which is regarding gravitational and electrical effects and it is mainly based on the fields so which is of the following is true for an electrical and a gravitational field so even when when i saw this question i knew the basic concept of electric field and gravitational field and even i knew some concepts related to it too but the thing is here there is a statement kind of question wherein you should have an understanding of all the four stat statements which are given as options which I failed doing. So you can just go through it. I have uh, eliminated A option, C option and D option and through that I have arrived to the B option which was correct uh, during KCT 2022. Yes guys, now I'll tell you how did I do it. In the first, I read the question. Electrical as well as gravitational effects can be thought to be caused by fields. Which of the following is true for an electrical and uh, gravitational field? So you should be finding a statement which should have the common characteristics for both electrical and uh, gravitational field. So basically the question is mainly based upon fields. Yeah, then I read the first option. Gravitational or electrical field does not exist in the space around an object. So field is a concept which involves space. This should obviously be not true cause they have given does not exist in a space. So uh, field is a property of space and you guys already know that. Then I just uh, eliminated that option. Then I read the second option. Second option tells you fields are useful for understanding forces uh, that are acting through a distance. Yes guys, the concept of field comes over there itself. You will be able to uh, understand the influence of a charge or an object at a particular distance when you consider the concept of field. So I thought that as a correct answer but still I didn't have a confidence in order to put a double tick there and in the same way uh, fill in the OMR sheet. So I had just I read that option and I just moved forward. There I saw there is no way to verify the existence of a force field since it is just a concept. So this I felt as false guys. You may ask me why because uh, when you can experience the field when you place a charged body when uh, there is a field. I had learned the concept that when a charged particle is kept in a uh, electric field it experiences a force. So that can be experienced. So this option also becomes wrong. So I just eliminated it. And again, the fourth one is that the field concept is often used to describe contact forces. No guys, field concept is used to uh, describe non-contact forces. That thing I knew, uh, the fact that since I knew the fact that the fields are prescribed for non-contact forces like gravitation and electric force. So I just uh, knew that it was wrong and I eliminated this. And then through that, I got confidence that the option B, which I had thought to be correct, is correct. So then I just ticked it and then I had filled in the OMR. So this is how you eliminate stuff. There are people who just eliminate blindly and that shouldn't happen. You should be knowing about every each and every option and then you should start eliminating. So this was one instance wherein I uh, used this elimination method to get my answer correct, guys. Yeah, next moving forward. Yeah, now I am uh, sharing you one more instance wherein this elimination method helped me out. So you can go through the page which I am uh, displaying in the screen guys. 
so there in the 57th question it says heat cannot be itself flow from a body at lower temperature to a body at higher temperature this statement corresponds to to be frank i did not uh, know the correct uh, law which corresponds to this statement but still i knew that uh, i can use elimination method for this cause i knew well about the three options present there the first option is conservation of momentum you know that conservation of momentum is no way related to heat so it is completely related to the mechanics part of it wherein you deal with forces and things like that so i knew that this shouldn't be the answer for sure so i just eliminated that conservation of momentum again moving on to the next option it was conservation of mass yes guys conservation of mass is again a concept which is not related to thermodynamics and flow of heat and all so again i just eliminated it so option c was first law of thermodynamics yes guys first law of thermodynamics i just knew about first law of thermodynamics i was uh, fortunate enough to know it because uh, first law of thermodynamics tells you that the change in internal energy will be equal to the change in heat of the system i hope many of you also know it yeah then when i understood that these three options are for sure not the correct answer for the above question i just simply ticked the option d and i just filled the same in the omr sheet too see guys how easy it is when you understand the elimination method well so that is why i would like to suggest you to just try to study as hard as possible right now and in the same way inculcate these methods when it comes to the exam day i'll be coming up with many videos in which i'll be dealing uh, this uh, trips and tricks which i which i inculcated in particular subjects when it comes to my kct 2022 exam so stay tuned so subscribe to my channel so that you will never miss out any video like this uh, when i upload in the coming days i see that many people are feeling low on motivation when i just scroll through my uh, comment section that is why i am saying this keep an eye on what you are listening to and in the same way uh, develop a temperament to trust your abilities because you should be the biggest fan of yours in order to excel and i hope you guys will definitely come out with flying colors once your kct 2023 exam is done i enjoyed a lot while i was sharing this trick which i inculcated in the exam day for my kct 2022 exam and in the same way if you did the same then don't forget to hit the like button cause i'll be getting a lot of motivation to come up with same kind of videos in the coming future again if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions please feel free to put it in the comment section so that i'll be able to look through it and in the same way uh, think of what can be done regarding it in the coming future guys With that note uh, this is dashan eskoda signing off and we are brothers together thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye